LeBron James is about to dunk against the best of the best in high school hoops. But the real challenge for LeBron will be with history. It all began in 1987 with the likes of Larry Johnson. And through the years, we've seen cartwheels, poses, hurdles, Kobe, even Vinsanity. But we think he can handle it. And those were in games. This is the 2003 Powerade Jam Fest. We're at Woodland Gym on the campus of Cleveland State University. We're going to see some outstanding performances by this year's McDonald's All-Americans. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dave Sims along with Tim McCormick. Glad you could join us. This should be a fun evening of entertainment, to say the least. And Tim, you know a little bit about dunking. Oh, yeah, Dave. I consider myself somewhat of an expert. I spent a lot of years in the NBA getting dunked on by some of the best of all time. We're going to show you some great dunks tonight by these All-Americans. We have the two-ball competition, and we have the three-point shooting competition as well. So sit back and relax. This is going to be a blast. And now let's join the third member of our broadcast team tonight, Rob Stone. Rob, what do you have? All right, we're with LeBron James. And LeBron, do you, ha do you have a kind of a pre-programmed dunk menu for us? You're going to kind of go with the moment. No, it's funny you ask because uh, everybody been asking me, and I'm just going to go off the top of the head. Whatever comes to me, you know, before I'm about to do my performance, you know, that's what I'm going to use. But I don't have none scripted out. I'm just going to go off the top of the head freestyle. Uh, I saw you talking with Darius Miles just a few minutes ago. Uh, did the NBA have a couple uh, pointers for you, perhaps? No, you know, me and D-Miles is real cool, so we was just talking. He said that every dunk I was going to do, even if I did between the legs behind my back, he's going to give me a two. So that was kind of <laughs> funny, you know, but, you know, it's just all fun. We just have, have fun here at the McDonald's game and trying to enjoy this. The man is ready. This is why we're here. LeBron James ready to get going. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid he may jump out of his britches. Uh, yeah, that's right. He's got the, he's got the shorts riding kind of low, so... That's going to take a long run up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was the first one. Wow. Are you Oh, man. You know, I was going to say Vince Carter like elevation. That's higher than Vince Carter. He's not even, you know, like in boxing, George Foreman's always saying you got to come out wet. He's not even sweating. And look how high he got up. <laughs> uh, you know, Vin Vince Carter. Vince Carter stuck his whole arm into the rim. LeBron can get his chin on the rim. I mean, that was amazing. He got 88 points. What are people thinking? That's, I guess, a, you get jaded after watching this guy. Here we go. Ooh, he missed that one. Not an attempt. Six foot eight, 240. Man child. Just absolutely a ridiculous athlete. <laughs> Settle down, Dave. Settle down, partner. <laughs> you know what, though? So smart because how much does he have to do to advance? He's he's working the crowd to the fever pitch. Beautiful delivery of the ball. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. I tell you, I've, I've seen a lot of these, Tim. We, we've done these a bunch of years. But I mean, so fluid, smooth, powerful, graceful. I mean, just amazing. What he's gonna sit on that, huh? Here's Shannon Brown. He'll get us started here in the finals of the dunk contest. Went for 165 on the first round. Yeah, and that one-hand windmill, tremendous. I think that Shannon Brown may have challenged in the three-point contest as well. Gone down. <laughs> Only in it gone down. Let me throw this out to you, Dave. Higher field goal percentage in the three point contest than in the dunk contest. That's right. <laughs> now you get some style points here, but it still counts as a big zero. 
Believe how quiet it is. You think he was standing over 30 foot putt. Here we go. Oh, I like the thought process there. Well, he's pretty much done for the evening here in the final round. Shen is going to reload for a third just so he can register some points. Uh oh, he's uh, backing folks up. He's going to do the old foul line deal. Is that Shannon Brown or Julius Irving? Let's see where he takes off from. I bet he's not leaving outside the foul line. I think he's out in the parking lot. Got to get that good start. This is much a tribute dunk as anything. He's got to see if he can nail it. Oh, that'll work. That will work. Oh, run. He may not have got anything in the first two, but ring the bell on that one. Sonny L. Garf on down the line. Gracious. <laughs> it's one thing to do the Irving dunk taking off, but to do a 360 smile halfway. Oh, yeah. That's little David Thompson. Yes, sir. So a combo David Thompson, Julius Irving. Once again, if you make your dunks, you've got a chance. That's right. You go with the simple stuff. That's what LeBron James did, too. Oh, he switched with the left hand. That was nice. I mean, it wasn't a biggie. Athletically, he's, he's still ahead of 99% of the, of the country. But this wasn't bad. But one that he'll remember, and I'm sure one we'll have in the highlight packages down through the years, was the 90-pointer he put up. Length of the court to a 360 and hammering home. Welcome back, everybody. We're in Cleveland for the Powerade Jam Fest on the campus of Cleveland State. We're in the midst of the dunk competition. Von Wafer with 246 as your leader. Shannon Brown is second, and LeBron James is next, and Rob Stone's got him. Uh, LeBron, you told us before the competition, you didn't have anything planned. You're just kind of wing it. You've had a lot of time to think about it. You got some premeditated options right now? Well, you know, I'm a dunker that really doesn't think about what I'm going to do. You know, I just go out there and Whatever happens when I'm in the air, what happens, you know, I hope I get a good ovation from the crowd. Very poised, LeBron James. Yeah, I'm not worried about him winning the contest. I'm afraid the guy's going to bang his head on the rim. <laughs> Honest to goodness. The poised young man, 6'8", 240. He's trying to get it. I think he wants a different song right? queued up. Say what, hey. He's, he even has, I mean, at 18, 19 years old, he's got a deep voice, too. You better watch out, pal. And, and he's, he's changing things. He, he's the DJ Dunker. Uh, this, he is the favorite son in this part of the country. Look out. Oh. Oh, my God. Hey, you know, the amazing thing about LeBron, you know, he's experienced, and his first dunk was when he was in eighth grade in one of those teachers versus the students game. Imagine that, Dave, a 14-year-old dunking on his math teacher. Boy, probably, probably carried the sentiments of a lot of his classmates. He Dave, I have never seen anybody jump as high as LeBron James. And it, it, it's a scary, and you know, that takes in a lot of folks over the last 25, 30 years. Yeah, how about David Thompson, Dr. J, Michael Jordan, this guy is in elite company. Golly, where his head, his chin almost hit the rim. <laughs> Incredible. He's only getting nines. But he's doing what you said. Get the points, and now he can, he probably goes for the, the, you know, the showstopper right here. I expect something very sick right now. Yeah. Look at his Look. head. Look at that. Oh, man. We might even see it take the corner off the top of the backboard. <laughs> Got 
comes the third attempt. Well, he got that up high. Does that go in? That's a horse shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that again. And <laughs> yeah, gave him too much lead time. Yeah, this guy's loaded, isn't he? He can bounce it off the floor. He can dunk it. I don't like these dunks as much because I think it's really hard to complete. I it. agree. Well, if you do nail it, God bless you. Look out. Man, he had to <laughs> wait for it. What's up with that? Uh, he didn't put up huge numbers. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was, I don't think he had one eight in, the, in those in that series of dunks. Look at this. Look at it. You see, he double clutched. <laughs> What's the last time you saw that? A double I've clutch. Never seen he it. double clutched. You know, he That's went up. He went, He was up around 11 feet. 11 feet. Watch, he hits the second gear right there. <laughs> uh, that's remarkable. There's your leader. 250 points. Well, he's already, you know, he's not even, doesn't even have his graduation uh, diploma yet, and he's already in the sports lexicon. Just named his name LeBron, Tiger, Michael. Here, Here's J.R. Giddens. You know, J.R. actually has a broken fifth metatarsal on his left foot. Ooh, that would have good. It's going to be real tough. That's his jumping foot. That does not count as an attempt. But he said, listen, even though I've got a broken foot, I still have something nasty for you. Well, he's going to try to beat the hometown favorite here. Tell you what, he's getting stoked. He can hold on to it. That was a good looking attempt. Oh, you know what? There's a case. Hands aren't big enough. That's right. Stylistically, I liked it. Didn't complete it, but again, the hand fact. Yeah, the fun thing about these guys, though, is that they're going to be freshmen next year, but they're, they're already working on their doctorate in the field of dunk. They all watch the NBA dunk contest. They tape it. They study, and they talk <laughs> about different stuff they can create. He's gonna stay with the same one. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he can't get that one down. Vivacious on the attempt. Yeah, going back to LeBron, his stuff was not that creative, but it blows you away. I mean, it's like a 40 inch vertical. The power, the explosion is scary. And Giddens, you said he's got the broken bone. He's limping off right now. I think he's going to bag right now. I guess we've got a champ, don't we? Yes, indeed. Comes as no surprise. Just like Ronald Curry. Ronald Curry defended his turf. So does LeBron James here in 2003. LeBron James is your winner of the slam dunk competition here in Cleveland. There's a sampling of some of the winning dunks by LeBron James and Rob Stone standing by with LeBron right now. We're joined now Mike Slocum, the director of McDonald's for Coca-Cola for the presentation of the Slam Dunk Champion. Congratulations, LeBron, in front of the home crown town. You bet. Well, LeBron, it's so difficult to live up to the expectations, right? I mean, the, the crowd expects you to fly over the backboard and throw something between your legs. A, a difficult competition for you? Well, you know, anytime you can get some athletic players across the country to be in the same competition and uh, same event as you, you know, it makes it more competitive. And I liked it tonight, and I'm, I'm glad I came away with the, with the trophy. Good. Congratulations. Good luck next season, wherever that All may right. be. All right, thank you. Well, it's been a blast being here in Cleveland for the Powerade Jam Fest as we look at some of the future stars of college basketball and the NBA. For Rob Stone and Tim McCormick, I'm Dave Sims. Thanks for joining us. LeBron James certainly put his mark on this event tonight. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.